hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so guys in today's video i'm going to share with you two hair growth regimen okay i'm going to share with you how i apply my onion oil if you have not already seen this video guys i will link it up above for you and i apply it as an hot oil treatment so that's me putting it into a double boiler for it to heat up and i'm also going to share with you guys a recipe for a wonderful hair growth mist that you can use on your scalp when you're in braids or even if you're not in braids you can use that so let's get into the video so guys after warming the onion oil up it was really really hot but i still wanted to put some on my scalp that is why you see me going with the with the dropper to kind of add some of the hot oil <laughs> to my scalp it wasn't hot that is going to burn but i didn't want to i didn't want to put it into any plastic container at the moment but i eventually switch over to a plastic container which will like allow it to apply even better on my scalp and for me to get it done faster so i put it into that bottle and guys just make sure that your oil is warm make sure it's warm not hot it's really warm it was really warm and nice so just make sure that it's warm not hot okay so two of the main reason why I recommend you guys using some onion in your regimen whether you're using the oil or you're using the juice is because when you add onion to the scalp it gives some extra sulfur and this is going to make your hair much stronger and if your hair is stronger guys you won't have that hair loss and shedding and ball, ball patches that you might be experiencing because of your weak hair. So if you add some onion juice, it is known to strengthen the hair and it also helps to grow your hair by increasing the blood circulation under the scalp and open up the follicles so that the follicles can breathe and, you know, get all the good nutrients from the onion and other products that you are using to grow your hair. So there's really nothing to lose guys by using some onion in your hair. The only thing you will lose is some hair if you're not using onion so get into using some onion in your regimen and let's get into the next recipe i'm excited about this one so this recipe is a hair mist that you're going to absolutely love it only needs three or four ingredients the most and these Three, four ingredients you can definitely pick them up in the store in the supermarket and you might have them also in your house these are just four simple ingredients that will give you great results right so the first ingredients that we're going to use in this recipe we're going to go in with some clove and some cinnamon guys cinnamon and clove when you boil them together it makes your house smells so so good so that's an extra bonus for you while you're making your diy hair mist your house is going to be smelling amazing okay so yes let's get back to the video so and you're also going to need some water some peppermint oil of course because guys you really ain't doing yourself any justice if you're not adding any essential oils to your homemade diy recipes okay so get into adding some essential oils to your recipes so yes let's get into boiling this recipe up together so i add the cloves and the cinnamon together and i let that boil as you can see guys it boiled and i didn't add all the water in it so now i'm finishing up the water because guys it evaporates right so and it's also helped to cool it down because i wanted to add it to my hair the same day on my scalp so that was that was a plus to just not put all the water in the container when you're boiling it leave some for the for the cool down phase <laughs> Okay, so the, guys, this is how it looks. 
tell me guys it looks like it looked like a bottom of a sea but it's brown it looks so good and it smells amazing giving you guys a close-up view of it and i'm gonna go in to tell you guys some of the benefits of using cloves and cinnamon on your hair so let's get into let's get ourselves educated about this recipe and how it's going to grow your hair and why you should use it so let's go so guys the first ingredients that we're going to talk about is clove clove contains a group of minerals such as sodium calcium magnesium and it also contains vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin k along with many other vitamins and these vitamins are excellent for our hair and it's also great for our skin so using clove on the hair how does it benefit our hair why why do we want to add some clove to our hair growth regimen clove cloves reduces hair loss it stimulates blood circulation to the scalp which pump oxygen which stimulate hair growth so if you are the type of person that really wants some growth and really wants some thickness you can get into using clove it also treats dandruff and relieves itchy scalp it reduces the spread of gray hair because it contains antioxidants if you're using clove oil guys you can even use it in an oil you can add it to your conditioner for maximum benefits so guys those are the benefits of using some clove on your hair so get into it get into using some cloves because we all about the hair growth right here so guys now that we cover clove a little bit if you guys want to learn some more about clove comment down below and i will definitely do another video covering more benefits of using cloves on your hair so let's get into cinnamon cinnamon guys it stimulate hair growth because we all about the growth so we need to use stuff that is going to stimulate the growth right so cinnamon is one of the herbs that will stimulate the hair growth and it also reduce hair loss we don't want our hair falling out because falling out hair meaning that we're going to have less hair on our head and we're not about that life so it reduces hair loss because it contains antifungal properties and it also helps to treat dandruff on the scalp guys a lot of us have dry scalp dandruff and these herbs are amazing to help to combat those type of problems that we might be having on our scalp so this is why we want to make sure that we are adding more herbs to our hair care regimen because this is a natural way to treat stuff that is going on with our hair and our scalp and we will see better um, results when we go the natural routes right because if you go the synthetic routes you're gonna have to always keep using that product in order to get rid of whatever you're trying to get rid of so it is wise to go and get some natural products natural herbs and use on your hair before you start going into the synthetic just try the natural way out and be consistent with it so after using the mist on my hair i went in with my carrot oil and guys i have this carrot oil for about 10 months now and it is still doing the job okay it a lot of you guys been asking me what's the shelf life of it well it's 10 months and it's still good so i will say the shelf life is uh, is over 10 months because it is doing the job it looks the same it smells the same and it's just amazing so I apply the carrot oil to my scalp because you know carrot oil is amazing for your hair and your scalp as well. So I went in and I topped that off with some of my carrot oil. So yes, thank you guys so so much for watching and let me know what you guys think down below. If you will try this miss out, it is pretty pretty simple to make and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.